Shut the fuck up for 30 seconds. Magic friends. Hello. Today we are discussing the out to lunch principle using a bullet pad that I make from regular paper. I use a pencil with it for the simple reason that you can't see pencil through paper. But I use, use normal art paper and I make a bullet pad like this. If you don't know how to make a bullet pad like this very quickly and easily, I do have the instructions for that on my first mentalism tutorial in my channel. But basically, the out to lunch principle, if you don't know it already, is quite easy. Some people use thicker cardstock and cut the bullet in half, but basically what I do is I pull one of the bullets out and I fold it in half lengthways and fold it quite nicely, crease it quite nicely on the fold. You then tuck the folded end underneath the elastics that are on your bullet pad and that's about it. When it sits flush and when you put it under the elastics, it looks great. Now on the gimmick side, I like to put a faint pencil dot in the top left corner of the gimmick side. And I suggest you do it on both sides of the pad and you'll see why soon when I explain the rest of the routine or the full routine out to you, why you would need to mark both sides and know which side the gimmick side is. You draw a line at the bottom ungimmicked side of the pad and you tell the spectator to write their, their name down, which they then do. Then you draw a line at the top gimmicked side and you tell the spectator to write down the name of a friend of theirs from school or the name of, uh, of a friend of theirs that's not present, someone that you could never possibly guess. And you turn your back and let them write their name down and you instruct them to put the pad face down onto the table and put the pencil next to the pad, like so. Then you pick up the pad, pull out the bottom sheet and as you pull out the bottom sheet, the name will stay behind. This is an exposed view. You then turn back around and you pick up the sheet of paper and turn your head away as you loosely crumple it into a ball and put it back on the paper. You explain that you don't want to be accused of somehow reading through the paper. Now this is where you take your time. You don't want to rush and grab the pad of bullets. So you talk for a little while saying, I'm guessing, and if it's a male, generally they think of a friend of theirs or a colleague. If it's a female, generally they think of a friend of theirs or, or, or a family member. So you can sort of play with these generalities. You might get a few questions wrong, but just play around and say, I'm getting a sense of this, I'm getting a sense of that. If you want to do more cold reading, you do well to research some cold reading there's lots of methods out there where you can actually make it look like you're already picking up signals and signs remember you're making it look like you're reading someone's mind so you don't want to rush to get the pad and read the information straight away because all the attention is on you and that will only make it look obvious as to what the secret could possibly be that it's on the pad so take your time here don't feel like you're in a rush a lot of magicians would rush to get the move done but mentalists know how to take their time and you know don't take too long where you become boring but take long enough where it doesn't look like the pad is the focus of attention then when enough time has gone by and you've patted enough this is when you actually obtain the information you pick the pad up and pull a single sheet out the opposite end of the pad while you secretly read the name that has been left behind. You pull the sheet out completely and as you've finished pulling the sheet out, this is the time you put the pad away. Put it in your pocket, put it somewhere out of sight, make sure that no one's going to grab that pad. So you put it in your pocket would be the safest bet. Then you use that sheet of paper to write down the name that you've read Continue pattering like you've read their mind and put the pad and the pencil face down or the sheet and the pencil face down Because it's now just the sheet the single sheet and the crumpled up piece of paper left on the table with the pencil 
Now, there's a few trains of thought as to how, get, how to get rid of the crumpled bullet. And one way is to open the bullet without showing anyone the face and then reading the name or pretending to read the name and go, oh, James, that's interesting. I also had a friend named James. And then you put the bullet in your pocket before revealing what you've written on that piece of paper. But what I prefer is to actually get an ashtray or a plate and burn the bullet. But remember, I do this before I pick up the pad and read the information on the pad. So I'll burn the bullet until it's completely ash, and that's why I like, I like it to be crunched up into a loose ball, okay? I might get the spectator to burn the bullet as well and say, some people think that I can read it while it's burning or whatever, but that's perfect misdirection. Just leave the pad on the table. Don't panic. And that makes the pad look unimportant. That way, when I do go and retrieve a single piece of paper for me to write on, the original bullet has been completely destroyed. I've got nothing but a blank piece of paper because I've put the pad away and everything ends clean like that. Now, if you're nervous that someone wants to look at the pad, which they hardly ever do, then you can simply go into your pocket and push off the gaff off the pad with your thumb before pulling it out your pocket and that gets rid of all the evidence. And I think this is a brilliant mind reading subtlety that you can use and have a lot of fun with. I'm sorry child, did I, did I frighten your child? Oh. Oh.